It's a beautiful night for football in Memphis, Tennessee. A balmy 46 degrees as the LSU Tigers of the Southeastern Conference get ready to take on the Baylor Bears of the Southwest Conference. It's been cold, but a very comfortable 46 degrees and a very slight wind out of the Southwest at six miles an hour. And this is just about ideal football weather. And we're all set to enjoy the 27th annual Liberty Bowl from Liberty Bowl Stadium in Memphis, Tennessee. And we're underway as the line drive kick goes down the sideline and out of bounds. Once again, Matt DeFrank will be kicking off this time from his 35-yard line. Derek McAdoo and Randy Rutledge, two fine return men, are back for Baylor. And we'll do it again. This one comes right down the middle of the field. It'll be taken on the five-yard line by Derek McAdoo. McAdoo brings it out across the 25 and has dumped it about the 26. And their backs are outstanding. Mike, he's a starting quarterback. He'll be backed up by Carlson. Both running backs are good, and they have a lot more. Their wide receivers are excellent for and a tight end, also a good pass receiver. And their offensive line is the key to the game, of course. Attics at center and the right side of the line, Bates and Cochran being the key men. And it's first down and 10. McAdoo and Sargent are running back. And Mickey goes up to the top on his first play of the ball game. Now let's look at the LSU defense. That defensive line primarily to keep those linebackers running free. Henry Thomas has two block kicks, so we'll look for him in special situations. Michael Brooks, a great player. He has eight sacks. He leads the team and two interceptions, but the other linebackers are excellent also. The guy to look here is uh, Norman Jefferson. He has three interceptions on the year in the defensive secondary. Okay, Kevin McAdoo gets the call. He is at the 35. Stockamer, who is the short yardage tailback, is into the ball game now. And Stockamer scored six touch touchdowns this year. In fact, he scored one off of the short yardage play, and he's got the first down with plenty to spare this year. So Baylor can run from the short yardage situation. Ben Baker is in split wide to the left side as Mickey on the option is going to keep the ball and gets near the 45-yard line. Darnell Chase, a world-class sprinter, is now in as a wide out for the Baylor Bears, and they go to the draw. And it's McAdoo right up the middle of the midfield strike. In that power eye, strong to the right side. Stockover into LSU territory, and he may be a little bit short. A part of the ball will do it, and down go the sticks, and yes, he is short, and Stockover is the tailback of the power eye. Stockover dives over the top. It looks like he made it. He's ever to, uh, able to get over the top for the first down. Mickey on a flip, coming back to Sargent, and the LSU defense reacts. Led by Michael Brooks, the All-American number 94, as they continue to change. Mickey straight drop, throws to the far sideline, completes it to H. And H dropped the football, but let's see. They started the drive from the 27, the Bears did. They had the ball on third down and 13 from midfield. And Mickey going for all of it on a post. It is intercepted by LSU's Chris Carrier. And he dropped the football, however. It's 44.8, and Norman Jefferson is deep for LSU. Sawyer hangs it high and on the sideline, and it bounces out of bounds at about the 20. The Tigers to the line of scrimmage. Up over the ball is Todd Couty. Pitch coming back to the tailback, and Hilliard is up to about the 24-yard line. Uh, Wickersham, the quarterback, being the key man, a 60% passer. And the wide receivers, Davis is averaging 15.1 yards, McGee 15.3 per reception, and the key man on the offensive line is Couty. The starting center, Albergorn, is out of the game. And the single setback is Dalton Hilliard. McGee is split out wide to the right side as Wickersham goes to Hilliard. Hilliard on a cut gets up to about the 28 and is thrown backward, but look at that defense now. Baylor Bears is a good defensive line. Sheffield, Grumbine, the tackles, they have to play well. Turner is a great player. Berry is a great linebacker. Jamison has to play well in the middle for the defense to work. And a defensive back, Francis, has six interceptions, and Everett's the All-American. All right, Kevin Kiley, and it's third down and one coming up. Wingman to the right, Hilliard and James are the splitbacks. And guess who gets the ball? Dalton Hilliard. Who else? And Hilliard has a first down. The all-time rushing leader at LSU, 4,050 yards for a career. Hilliard and James. Here's Wickersham to throw for the first time. Incomplete. As Sam Martin and Raji McGee are now the wideouts. The motion man is Hilliard. And this time it is Barry James who gets the call. And he bangs up to near the 45-yard line. A great running tandem of Hilliard and James. And here they are with third down and short. It's Hilliard, flags go down, and there's a fumble on the play. 
was in there, and it's an offside call against Baylor. So Jeff Wickersham, 6'5", 195 pounds of Floridian. Once again, it is Gary James, but he cannot quite get outside. Sam Martin is in as a wideout, along with Raji McGee. And in motion goes Hilliard. Wickersham to throw, looks for Hilliard. There he is at the 45-yard line. He's down to the 44. Uh, Hilliard and James are the splitbacks and two wideouts. The pitch coming to Hilliard. Hilliard cuts and gets jarred at the 42-yard line, fighting for a little extra yardage and a possible first down, but Demons the defensive right end, replaced by Paul Lee, number 92 for Baylor. Fourth down and short. LSU going for it, and they fumble the football. It looks like Baylor has recovered. Gary James coughed it up and Ron Francis. They have great confidence and they feel they can get a turnover when they need it. Tom Mickey on the option goes to Jackie Ball and Ball is up to about the 44 and Chris Carrier. John Simpson, a world-class sprinter, is split wide to the left for Baylor as Mickey on the option is going to pitch to his tailback and that play won't go as Jackie Ball on third down seven, Ben Baker and Matt Clark are the wide outs, and Mickey on a straight drop under a rush, fires away, incomplete, near the midfield strike. Texas, an all-Southwest Conference kicker, will punt it away. Gidry and Jefferson are deep for LSU. Good kick, and the ball is going to roll back into the end zone just barely. Game could very well come down to a special teams play or a field goal. I mentioned earlier that LSU has given up just a shade over 10 points a game. Baylor gives up about 15. That's a good one away going back deep, and it's... Patterson on the return, and look at him go. One man left. He gets by him. Norman Jefferson, touchdown, LSU. <laughs> LSU on the scoreboard first, and now leading by a score of 7-0. So the Tigers draw first blood on a tremendous return, 79 yards. Let's look at it. And you can see the Turner catches the ball here. He gets one good block, and now he gets the wall of blockers. They pick up everybody, and he's got great foot speed. It's a foot race now. Sawyer comes over, try to get to him. He doesn't hit him hard enough to knock him out of bounds. He maintains field position, takes it into the end zone. And Couple of great blocks along the way by Toby Caston and also LSU went into the end zone. Cody Carlson is now the quarterback for Baylor. This is his first series. From the 20, he pitches back to McAdoo, and McAdoo is shot out of bounds. Brooks, a two-time All-America. He's only a junior. He made everybody's All-America team this year. Baker and Douglas are the wideouts. Split left and right for the Baylor Bears on second down and five. Cody Carlson pitches. He pitches the ball forward. And that made it a forward pass, so it's incomplete. Eights and Douglas are the wideouts for Baylor. Cody Carlson at quarterback. Throws back over the middle. It is completed for a first down to McAdoo coming out of the backfield. He's across the 30 and dumped at about the 32. Now the Bears go slot to the left with two burners, Chase and Simpson. They can really fly. Let's see what the play call is. Carlson option. Carlson back to pass. And he's got a man wide open. That is Simpson, or rather, that is Darnell Chase. And the foot race is on. Simpson down to the 10-yard line. First down, 10-yard line. Baylor Bears on the move now. Carlson pitches to McAdoo. McAdoo to the nine. Fumbles the ball, or did he? Clark and eight to the wide out. Seven to nothing LSU. Eight split to the right side. Carlson keeps the ball himself and is brought down to the six by Michael Brooks in a slot right, third down six for Baylor. Carlson. And it is caught for a touchdown by Matt Clark, his third touchdown reception of the year. Norman Jefferson had the coverage, a six-yard touchdown pass to Matt Clark from Corsicana, Texas. In for the extra point, and Matt Clark will hold, and Siler's kick, uh, we got a flag. So let's see what the flag's about. Said as you can see as we glance at him there. <laughs> on the defense, the kick is good, penalty on the kickoff. He's got a lot of time. Clark is back, 
moves back toward his own thrower, keeps his back shielded from the defender. Clark makes a fine catch. Jim Mueller, who handles the long kicks for the Baylor Bears, kicks this one to the sideline. They're going for an onside kick. Baylor may have a recovery, and Baylor does uh, have a recovery inside the 10-yard line at about the 8-yard line. And it was Johnny Thomas, number 41. Uh, but wait a minute, did they have possession? And Baylor hits it. Oh, great play. Man. Absolutely, they had it, and Baylor's got possession now. And maybe they probably ruled that he didn't ever have possession. Here at the eight-yard line, and Jeff Workersham has a single setback in Dalton Hilliard at the eight-yard line of LSU. And Hilliard falls down to the five-yard line. On a loss of three, second down, 13 yards to go. Jeff Workersham, Floridian. Hilliard, tailback, five carries, 15 yards so far. Hilliard. Getting a little bit of running room, but making most of it on his own. Davis and McGee are the wideouts. Hilliard and James are running backs. Wickersham on a drop and looking, and the ball is batted up in the air, and battle for it, it finally falls incomplete. Frank gets it high into the air. Excellent punt. Fair catch called for by Thomas Everett, and he feels the ball. This can be very distracting to a defense switching offensive units. Fruit split out to the white side. Douglas to the right side. Ball and Williams are the running backs, and the pitch is going to Robert Williams, and Williams is chased out of bounds. The timing is so different. Second and short, very short. Carlson going for it all. He's looking for Douglas. Great catch. Douglas pulls the ball down inside the five-yard line of LSU as Leland Douglas beating four tight ends and Stockerber becomes the tailback in the power eye on first and goal. And it is Tom Mickey who is in there now as the quarterback. He could have cut that ladder for the touchdown. Second down goal to go. Mickey is hit back behind the line of scrimmage. A great play by Michael Brooks, a linebacker. And that play ended the first quarter. So we have a locked up game. And as we start play in the second quarter, Baylor with a third down and 16. Cody Carlson back of the ball game running and being trapped and thrown down on the 20. <laughs> Michael Brooks, a 37 yard effort. Terry Seiler, the freshman from Wichita, Kansas, his longest field goal of the year, 40 yards. Here's the snap from the hash mark and this one is not gonna be good. Back, no score in the game. James in motion and this is Hilliard. Outstanding run, but he coughs up the football. McGee fell on it. By the defensive player with his hat on the ball. Back to the live action. Wickersham throwing to the near side to McGee. And McGee is across the 30, has a first down to the 32. And but five yards. Baylor 119. The, the Tigers have to establish something offensively in this game. Davis, Martin, and McGee are three wide receivers, and they're now for LSU. Wickersham, counter coming back to the right side. That's Hilliard on a bit of a... Delay there, the all-time rushing leader, 4,050 yards at LSU, eclipsing Charles Alexander's mark. And Hilliard gets more yardage on this one, finding a hole on the right side. Up. Holding call against LSU. Raji McGee splits out wide to the left side. Jeff Workersham, third leading passer in the Southeastern Conference history. Since James in motion, rolls to the left side, looks out that way, and completes his pass to McGee, and McGee picks up a first down near the 45-yard line. He also acts as a running back from time to time. Garland Jean-Baptiste is now in the backfield, and he is the fullback up in the eye, as it is James who gets the handoff running behind a Batiste block. Game tied at 7, 11 8 to go in the first half in Memphis, Tennessee in the Liberty Bowl. Jean-Baptiste in motion to the right, passes thrown to him and he is at midfield and Jack Hurd number 16 the strong safety Ray Brock is now in its center for LSU the regular uh, center Nacho Albergamo out of this uh, ball game with a broken foot as Wickersham throws the ball is dropped by McGee for Baylor this game tied at seven Frank hangs it well up into the air and a fair catch called for by Thomas Everett who takes the ball inside his own 20 of them. Adjust to the movements and the differences in the Baylor offense. John Simpson split out to the right side. Baylor goes to the run and up comes Randy Rutledge to the 25 yard line about three yards short of a first down. And they seem to just do everything at all times. That's what they're trying to do every time is make them come up with a defense that they're not ready to handle. Third down and short Perry is 
to avoid that. He's got to get on balance, move back, and get higher than the offensive center when he rolls. Ooh, heavy traffic. Buzzy Sawyer kicking fair catch for the LSU defense, but right now it's the LSU offense, and the old flea flicker with Wickersham throwing long for Sam Martin, and it is broken up, and Ron Francis picks it off at about the 14-yard line. Incredible play. First down of the Baylor 14-yard line. Rutledge and Perry are the running back. And Tom Mickey throws and completes it to Glenn Pruitt. Pruitt has the first down. It's his second one-handed catch interception that he has made this year. First down. On the quarterback option, Mickey hangs on to the ball. And Merle Herman, Bud Wilkinson, Kevin Kiley with you. The 7-7 game, 7.32 to go in the first half of the Liberty Bowl. Mickey almost brought down behind the line of scrimmage, has a first down on this run, and goes down to about the 46th, covered by Steve Reha. Lee Carlson, a six-yard touchdown pass to Matt Clark for Baylor. Game tied at seven, and this is Randy Rutledge who gets the run call. Tom Mickey is the quarterback. On the straight drop, he throws down the sideline and is caught by Simpson. And he is pulled down inside the 10. First and goal to go inside the 10. Rutledge and Perry are the running backs for Baylor. Tom Mickey on a handoff to Rutledge, diving straight ahead, and he runs right into Carl Wilson's. A little demoralizing for the offense. Five minutes, 55 seconds left to go in the first half. Mickey lays it up there. It is incomplete. Intended for Rutledge coming out of the backfield. Well, Grant Taft changed all that in a hurry. Third down. And a screen out to the right side, going to Perry, and he is chased out of bounds by Mike DeWitt. This will be from 23 yards out. Baylor going for the lead, a high snap, but Siler gets that kick away, and this one is good. It is good, and Baylor takes the lead for the first time tonight with five minutes and 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Memorized it. Jim Mueller to kick off for Baylor. Sam Martin and Gary James are deep for LSU. This ball's going to go to James' side, and he fields it on his own two. Tremendous return by Gary James out across the 30 to about the 33-yard line. For LSU. Davis left, McGee right. Here comes LSU in a running play with Gary James. Baylor defeated LSU. Martin and McGee are the wideouts. A single setback now for LSU. It's Wickersham on a drop. Has some time, and then it kind of collapses. And so he turns to the run, puts his head down, gets up across the 40 to the 41. He runs into Ray Berry. <laughs> Third down and two for the Tigers. Hilliard and James are now the running backs. And James in motion. Wickersham looking his way. Throws to James. Out of bounds in the 45. First down for the Tigers. Hilliard and James, the running backs, split for LSU. Wickersham, Hilliard. Hilliard, midfield, dumped as he inches across the midfield stripe. But you run for daylight. <laughs> Hilliard shaken up on the last play, and Jean-Baptiste is down there to replace him in four. Second down, 10. Jean-Baptiste in motion. Gary James to the 48. James, six carries for 20 yards. Jean-Baptiste, 44, is now in there as a running back. Wickersham in trouble, throws it over the middle. The pass was deflected. His arm was hit. But two minutes and 48 seconds to go in the first down. To Frank, belts it downfield. It's Thomas Everett. And Everett Fair catches the ball. Very tough. Cody Carlson is now the quarterback on the draw, and a McAdoo is really popped by Roland Barbe, number 77. Simpson and Baker are the wideouts. Cody Carlson drops inside his own five, zips it out, and it's incomplete intended for Ben Baker, the sophomore, with a third down and 13 at the Baylor 10. The quarterback, Cody Carlson. Great drop, and where's the receiver? They're all covered. Carlson going to run it. He is pulled down by Eric Hill, number 54. Effective, and I think that you'll have the Baylor not cover quite as hard, so they won't overrun it. Sawyer's line drive kick rolling downfield into LSU territory and will be down inside the 45 and marked at about the 43-yard line. Hilliard has been out since he was favoring an injured leg, and this pitch going to 
Gary James, and he is inside the midfield stripe. And second down and short for LSU is Davis and McGee are in there as the wideouts now. The running backs are split, and Wickersham swings it to the left side to Jean Baptiste, and he has the first down down the sideline. He gets out of bounds to stop the clock. Jean Baptiste cut up into a little bit. Gain too deep. Gain of 16. They fake the draw in the play action, and Wickersham goes down under a big rush. <laughs> How long it takes. Confidence is every. You betcha. Second and 22 as Wickersham pumps once. Now looks is under a rush, throws incomplete. Let's use receivers, it's just coasting. Third down, 22, 50 seconds left. Wickersham looking for a receiver. Going to run the football, and he's trying to get out of bounds, but he can't. At about the 30-yard line is James Lee, 92. We'll go with a 47-yard field goal attempt, apparently. Doug Powell will hold, but remember, he is a quarterback. The longest shot for Ron Lewis, he's in his range, 54 yards in his career. So it'll be a 47-yard effort from the hash mark, and he belts it low and away to the left. And Baylor will have 36 seconds left to work in for Baylor. And a first down coming up and no setback. First time tonight. Carlson rolling and looking. And throws the ball incomplete. In the line of scrimmage before he threw the ball. And he also loses it down. In fact, there are three wideouts to the left side as they overload. Now no running backs left. The last man in motion. Carlson, quarterback draw. Doesn't go anyplace. Roland Barbe comes to the end of the first half with Bill Arnsparger's LSU Tigers trailing Grant Taft's Baylor Bears by a score of 10 to 7. In the kickoff. And it's taken to the four yard line. Sam Martin bobbling, picking it up, going back to the opposite side, sees a little bit of running room and then gets necktied and brought down. Jeff Wickersham, the senior. Quarterback from Merritt Island, Florida, is in there running the LSU offense, and he goes to a pitch to Gary James, his tailback. Got to play harder, maybe, and get that running game going. Second down eight is the call. James in motion. Wickersham looking to the near side, and then gets nailed by James Lee, 92 from the blind side. Third down 12, and Baylor shows blitz. Is it coming? And Wickersham fires away. It is incomplete. Intended for McGee, and DeFrank is in to do the punting. And he drives it downfield where Ron, uh, Thomas Everett rather calls for the fair catch and fields the ball. Matt Clark breaks out wide to the right side, through it to the left side for Baylor. Now he goes in motion back to the right. Mickey to throw, spins it right over the middle, and a great catch by Matt Clark at, at the Bear 48. That's eights in motion back to the left side. Mickey on the option hands it off to Sargent. And Sargent crosses the midfield stripe. They switch the wideouts and also the running backs. And a flag goes down as that play. 11 unassisted tackles, two for losses, two assists, three quarterback sacks. One pass broken up and two fumbles caught. Typical game. Roll to the left. Mickey fires away and completes it at the 42 to Leland Douglas, number 17. They're down in this game. They've got to make something happen. First down, Baylor on the LSU 41. Baylor leading at 10 to 7. Mickey the option, pitches it back to Sargent. And Broderick is down near the 30-yard line. We're also very quick, and on is a wideout, so H goes in motion to the right side. Mickey on a handoff to Sargent, and he goes right up the right side. Where that banner, I think Grant Taft's daughters constructed that one. As Baylor goes to the run, and McAdoo is knocked off his feet. And it's third and about four, and see what they do if they made an adjustment. In motion goes Chase to the right side and on the pitch it comes back to the trailing back sergeant and Broderick gets inside the 20 is out of bounds on the 17 and that is a first down in all of the snaps that he has made he has never come up with a bad one this time in motion it is Pruitt to the right side Mickey dropping and throwing and completing to Pruitt and Pruitt is out of bounds inside the 10 Douglas in as a wide out sergeant and McAdoo the running back Mickey on the pitch and now Sargent in trouble is going to be thrown for a loss back outside the 15-yard line. They were confused him in the middle of the field, but not on the goal line. A loss of 11, second down, 18 goal to go. Mickey, quick hit, and a fumble as uh, Fornis, uh, third down goal to go in the 18. Mickey dropping straight back and fires it over the middle. It is incomplete, Darnell Chase. 35-yard field goal attempt by Seiler, who is one out of two tonight. 
right up the middle of the field. Good hold, end over end, and right up the middle. Seiler getting a second field goal, a 35-yarder, after getting a 23-yard field goal in the second quarter. So with eight minutes, 54 seconds in the third quarter, it's Baylor 13 to seven. We'll be back after this from your local station. Jefferson, I believe against uh, Mississippi State. Long end over end kick. Going to come up a little bit short though. Looked like it was going to have pretty good distance, didn't? James on the return. James breaks it out across the 30, out to the 33. Bill Ansbarger believes that you've got to establish the run before the pass, and uh, they haven't been able to do that. And once again, they start with a run, and bingo. <laughs> Baylor defense, what you need to do is run some draw plays, run some passes, and the quick passes are the ones that they've been able to hit. And let's check it. It wasn't Jones. It was James who was back into the ball game. I think they're trying to do that. Uh, they've run the trap play and they've made the trap play go better than anything else, but uh, they simply haven't been able to get the consistency they need. On third and 11, Wickersham firing to Martin, who really takes a pop on the sideline, but the 33 yard line. Thomas Everett back deep for Baylor. Something went wrong there on that punt, it appeared, as the ball uh, might have been touched, or was it, by LSU. He almost hit the ball on the wrong side of his body. Tom Mickey is still the quarterback, and he hands it off to Jackie Ball, uh, who is up across the 40 to But what the offensive men are makes the timing of the defense so much different. Mickey keeps and pays for it at the 45. Once the decision is made that he can recover. Here comes Mr. Brooks as Mickey gets that pass away somehow at midfield. And they did complete the pass. A good reaction by Mickey. And the first down out of it as Mickey runs the option and pitches it to Jackie Ball. Jackie Ball chased out of bounds near the yard marker, but DeWitt is now in at the free safety spot on second down and short. Straight ahead on the dive to Jackie Ball. He has the first down inside the 40 of John Simpson. The burner is split wide to the right side for Baylor on first down. Mickey looking at him and fires incomplete. Simpson. And that includes the receivers are running before they catch the ball. Tommy Clapp for Carl Wilson at the defensive right end now for LSU. Second down is the call. Mickey straight drop and looks to the near side. Ooh, caught by Baker and then dropped. Incomplete. So he's pointing to where the ball hit the ground, third, at least in his opinion. Third down 10. They swing it out to Robert Williams coming out of the backfield. And the Bears lost three, uh, three yards on the last play to bring up a fourth and 13 as Sawyer kicks it away. Jefferson downfield for LSU and the ball uh, takes a, an LSU bounce. And Carl Harmon along with Bud Wilkinson and Kevin Kiley here in Memphis, Tennessee. It is a first and 10 as Hilliard gets the call and doesn't go very far because that puts him in bad down in the yardage situation. Hilliard and James together over 1,600, almost 1,700 yards this year. You saw what they've done tonight. That's James taking that pass coming out of the backfield and he is close to a first down. And Martin to the right side for LSU. Wickersham rolls to the left and looks and it is incomplete. Get him, they're always around the ball. High snap to Frank, pulls it down, gets the kick away, however. Thomas Everett is backpedaling for Baylor, calling for the fair catch, hoping the ball will roll into the end zone. It does. LSU trying to down it before it got there for the Bears, who now lead it 13-7. And here we go, and Cody Carlson is now the quarterback. Carlson handing it off to Charles Perry. And that's bad for a defensive player who is tired. Second down, seven of the Baylor 23. This time, uh, the man in motion is Horace H. Carlson looks to the far side, looks for H. Diving catch if it was a reception, and apparently it was. Nice. You just saw that Matt DeFrank has the new Liberty Bowl record, 64 yards on a punt. That pitch going back to Rutledge, and Rutledge chased out of bounds on the far side of the 41-yard line. Carlson, hands off. Perry has the first down with plenty to spare. First down, midfield. Cody Carlson running the show for Baylor right now. Complete. It is Darnell Chase, and he is chased out of bounds. But Eights coming back in motion to the left side. What a first down call for Baylor. As Carlson hands off to Perry, and Perry, the highly regarded freshman, down to the 28-yard line. Rolled up lots and lots of yardage. They've had uh, tremendous opportunities. That LSU defense has really been difficult, though, and has given up two field goals. And this play, Rutledge being chased out and 
We have a minute, 14 seconds to go in the third quarter. Carlson dropping and looking and firing, and the ball batted down. Douglas and Chase are the wideouts for Baylor. Third down nine. A draw. And it is Rutledge carrying at about the 21. Would you really want to either try to penetrate inside or be strong enough to control the guy that's opposite you? 37-yard field goal attempt by Seiler. He had missed from 37 before, and he misses again. He has field goals of 23 and 35 tonight. Baylor will put the ball in play. Jeff Wickersham at quarterback. Wickersham looks to the near side. And now he starts looking deep. Throws over the middle and is incomplete. Ending an open receiver, and they yeah. just haven't practiced coming back to the ball. Yeah. Well, they've had a lot of practice tonight. Worker Sham one out of six in this half. That run doesn't get a whole lot, but does get about three. We were Baylor leads LSU by a score of 13 to seven as we start the fourth quarter. Worker Sham, LSU rolling to the right and looking and throwing, and it is incomplete on the sideline. They get one close. They need to get it. Matt DeFrank, who set a Liberty Bowl record the last time he punted, 64 yards, puts one high into the air, and the fair catch is taken by Thomas Everett. And maybe he's just not able to move the Baylor defensive tackle. No running backs left, as you see. Everybody in motion. Carlson throwing it right over the middle and completing it to Derek McAdoo coming out of the backfield. That's got to shake you up. H to the left, Simpson to the right. The handoff goes to McAdoo, and McAdoo has a first down with plenty to spare. Carlson, 7 out of 10, 139 yards and one touchdown for Baylor. And Cody is the quarterback right now, and McAdoo goes in motion, leaving no running back. And Carlson throws it over the middle and a slant into Broderick Sargent, and Sargent is at the 39. And uh, LSU couldn't move the ball on three downs, and it's the same thing's happening here early in the fourth quarter. Second and three, Carlson, McAdoo, short of the first down. Daryl Phillips, a tandem offense, short yardage, eye, power eye, and Stockamer's the tailback, and Stockamer gets the handoff. He breaks through the middle. He's got good speed, and he gets inside the 35 for a first down to the 33. One on the pass, and he has done it basically at the goal line. Carlson option. He goes to Sargent. Sargent down the sideline. Necktie tackle after he picked up about 14 yards. Pruitt and Douglas to the wideouts for Baylor. Sargent gets the call again. And he is down to about the 16-yard line. Well, they have to be getting tired. Tommy Clapp is coming at right in for Carl Wilson for LSU. Second down and six coming up for Baylor. McAdoo doesn't get a whole lot on that. LSU 12 gives you an idea of what we said a moment ago, the way that Baylor has dominated possession, but hasn't scored. Carlson coming back, rolling right, looking, throwing for the end zone, touchdown! That's John Simpson, the flyer, a perfect hit. Still got the ball close enough to Simpson for him to catch it. They're going to go for the two-point conversion as Cody Carlson stays in as the quarterback, and he throws for the two points, and Matt Clark is wide open, and they get it. Gee, it didn't look like the, anybody on the LSU team went out to cover him. He was just a wide receiver. 62 yards, nine plays in that drive. Here comes the kickoff, and Miller pulls it downfield. A line drive shot out of the end zone. LSU will play it on its own 20. Brown last year took the Tigers to the Sugar Bowl. This year, back in another bowl game. A draw coming to Hilliard. Hilliard going up to the 25. And it is kind of strange that LSU has not thrown it. Second and five, and the pitch going to Hilliard. And Hilliard runs out of property. He's short of a first down, I believe, by about a yard. They certainly haven't run, and they have in the past, so you have to figure he was a big cog. Going for the first down, Hilliard has it with plenty to spare. Out across the 35, the number two defensive line is now in for Baylor. As Wickersham looks and fires, and this time connects with Wendell Davis. And then he hooked up right in the middle of two linebackers and was covered. Wickersham pitching, and Dalton Hilliard running. It's because he was just kind of jogging out there. Second and seven, Wickersham throwing over the middle. Completed to Mitch Andrews. There's the tight end. Third down inches for LSU. Down by two touchdowns. Hilliard has the first down with about three, four yards to spare now. Davis goes to the right side, Martin to the left side. Here comes the blitz, and Wickersham fires it is incomplete. Oh, he had a man wide open, Mitch Andrews, on second down and 10. Again, they show blitz, and this time uh, Hilliard on the draw is up across the, or down across the 35. 
Jones has replaced James now as the tailback and it's Hilliard on the pitch and he is brought down at the 31 by Thomas Everett. Everett's been a remarkable player and he's had 72 tackles and 38 unassisted a total of 110 tackles this season. On fourth and five they got to go two touchdowns uh, behind and let's see if they're going to be able to get it. Hilliard short of the first down. Ray Berry the linebacker stops him. We're delighted to be with you here in Memphis. First down Baylor. Tom Mickey back in at quarterback goes to Jackie Ball. He is met by Michael Brooks 94. The second and 12 for Tom Mickey of the Baylor Bears. And this play doesn't go any place because Daryl Phillips 62 the nose guard is all over Jackie Ball and this whole city is involved in this project and it is sensational. Here is Mickey rolling right and finally throwing uh, to Douglas but he was out of bounds when he caught the ball. Yes. <laughs> High snap. Ooh, they almost <laughs> got it. And the ball takes a roll out of bounds at about the 36 yard line. Well we don't get the call. Sawyer gets it out of there. And the fair catch call for and take it at the 35 yard line and sends a wide out to each side. And Gidry dropping right back to throw and does and completes it to Victor Jones out of the backfield for short yardage. This could be his day. Second down seven. Gidry looks to the near side, throws it to Jones again, and this combination got to the line of scrimmage, and Jones broke a tackle and gets across the 40 to the game going. It's gone. Third down three for Mickey Gidry. Gidry with some time, throws it over the middle, incomplete. The intended receiver was Wendell Davis kicking for LSU. On fourth down and four, he belts it downfield, end over end, fair catch call for and taken by Thomas Everett. Rutledge and Perry are the running backs. And it's Rutledge who is finally brought down at about the 30-yard line. Rutledge, with his 31 yards, is the leading rusher tonight. It's Rutledge again. Not too much on this one, about the 33. I thought they'd be in the tandem, but they're not. And in motion goes Ben Baker. Charles Perry, first down Baylor to the 38. Perry, the freshman, to the 45 and short of a first down by a couple of... I know. Charles Perry. Perry for a first down across midfield into LSU territory. Mickey, this is Works who just came in and he gets down to the 45 yard line. Communication that gives this Baylor team the great execution that they have. That running play doesn't get too much as the defense reacts each time. Baylor with 88 plays, LSU with 55 plays tonight. And the new quarterback is Charlie Lewis, number nine, the freshman from Houston. And he is at the 40 yard line. And they're gonna run this one off that deep punt. And they've got the first down going with more to spare as uh, the ball is taken all the way down that the shocking news came that the bear had passed away. This uh, carry goes to the freshman running back, Scott Works, number 35. He's at about the 25-yard line as we apparently have seen the last play of the ball game as the clock ticks down. And Baylor has defeated the LSU Tigers by a score of 21 to 7 in the 27th Annual Liberty Bowl. And Grant Tapp gets that ride that all coaches love. There's just nothing that feels the same. So, a win for Baylor, 21 to 7, and we'll be back after these messages from your local station. This is the Raycom Sports Network.